story, a desire to kill two people now charged in connection with the death of a five-year-old boy after his body was found in a dumpster. Christina Van Zels joining us in studio tonight. And Christina, one of the defendants apparently talked about wanting to take someone's life. Yeah, Ted, this entire case is just devastating. The older defendant told police the younger defendant had talked for a while about wanting to kill someone. The body of five-year-old Prince McCree was found Thursday. Prosecutors have charged two people, including a 15-year-old, who we're not naming yet because of his age. On Thursday, October 26, police found five-year-old Prince McCree's body in a dumpster near Holly and Vliet. Monday, prosecutors charged 27-year-old David Piatura and a 15-year-old boy with first-degree intentional homicide. Here's what the criminal complaint lays out. On Wednesday, October 25th, Prince's mom called police after she couldn't find him. She last saw Prince around 9 a.m. at their home near 54th and Meineke. When investigators got to the home, a detective noticed blood in the basement. Prosecutors say Piatura lived in the basement of that home, too. Police interviewed Piatura, who said he was playing video games, then went on a walk with the 15-year-old. He says they walked to a park and got back around 2 p.m. Prosecutors say GPS from his cell phone contradicts that, and police arrested Piatura. Surveillance footage from Wednesday shows Piatura and the 15-year-old walking in an alley near Cherry Street around 2 p.m. They are carrying a white garbage bag. The next day, around 7.45 in the morning, in an interview with police, Piatura admitted where Prince's body was. An hour later, Prince's body was found. Based on that interview, around 1.15 in the afternoon, police arrest the 15-year-old. Prosecutors say the boy admitted to strangling Prince and beating him with a golf club. Both admitted to beating Prince. On Monday, an autopsy was done. The medical examiner's office says the boy suffered multiple blunt force injuries from head to toe. That 15-year-old boy will have his initial appearance in juvenile court tomorrow. During that process is when a judge can decide if he'll be tried as an adult. If they're both found guilty, they could face up to two life sentences. This is horrible on so many levels. Let's talk about that 15-year-old uh, defendant again. You say he's been charged with other crimes just leading up to this most recent one. Yeah, it was actually just two days before Prince was found dead. Prosecutors say that he stabbed three different people, all within an hour of each other, all within a mile apart. This happened on Monday, again, just two days before Prince was murdered. And they were all living in the same home, but they were not related, right? Is this a multifamily unit? What's the story there? Yeah, well, they're not related. Uh, we do know that Prince and his mom were living there. We also know that that 15-year-old boy and his mom and some of his siblings lived there. Obviously, the defendant, David Piatura, lived there. But as to what was happening in that home and why they were all in this single-family home, that's still unclear. Christina Van Zels reporting. Thank you so much.